everybody, Mick here, Hampshire Outdoors and Survival. So, been shopping, bought the cheapest um, folding wood stove that I could find on Amazon, and I thought, let's give it a go. Let's go with a budget bit of kit, see how it works out. Okay, so this came in the post. It is about five millimeters thick. I'd say it's five inches square in the package. And the package itself, the, the, the bag that it comes in, is, is really, really good. I am doubly impressed with that. Um, it's a substantial little bag. It's sturdy. I don't think that's going to fall apart in a hurry. And the kit comes out. Stainless steel. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll set it up see how it goes. Now with all these little folding stoves they can be quite fiddly to set up and having a play with this one what I found is the best method is to actually set it up so that the opening is the last piece you put on. Okay, The other three pieces are all exactly the same so they're not back, back front, side or, or whatever. So they just slot together take this is your, your little bound pan and I'm going to set it on the highest setting for that because the first burn I'm going to do is with hexamine and we're going to see if we can make a brew on that because I could do with a cup of coffee and the first rule of survival is get the brew on okay get that brew on okay well let's set this little stove up and these can be quite fiddly when you first do them, but a little bit of practice, you'll, you'll soon pick it up. Um, the last piece is always the, the one that's, that can be a little bit of a swine. And it's the reason that I've said you save the front piece till last, is purely and simply, it doesn't have any tabs for the fire grate. And so, it makes it that little bit easier to get into place and that's it assembled that's the, the little stove I'm gonna set it up this way for you um, so you can see the entrance there now one of the concerns I always have with things like this if you're using it outdoors is remember ash is always going to fall through there down here you're going to be creating an area where the heat of the fire up here is going to be drawing oxygen in underneath and that is going to give you a very good chance of creating a fire underneath this stove. Okay, so be aware of that. And because I'm using hexamine and I don't want to make a mess, a little bit of foil in there, because hexamine, at the end of the day, doesn't worry too much about the oxygen. It will I draw it quite readily. Um, put our little stove support on. Again, it's quite funny how every time you're filming something it will become double fiddly <laughs> double fiddly is that a technical term Mick I expect, expect it is there we go so there we're set up so as the stove goes five inches tall probably four inches square and those are just guesstimates okay don't don't quote me on that so we're going to take out I think because I'm going to boil quite a substantial cup of water. Two hexi tab, two hexi tabs. Oh, I hate hexamine. I've already said that, haven't I? Place those on there, and let's take out a lighter. That's our hexamine burning. And I'm going to take my little kettle and place my kettle over that. Now, what we're going to do, that kettle today has 700 mils of water in it, which is a lot of water for a small stove like that, but I want to put it through its paces. I want to see if it's really going to do the job. Let these hexes burn out.
And yes, you could make a warm drink out of that. Quite easily that would make quite a satisfying warm drink. It is just starting to bubble on the bottom. Um, and I've got steam rising off the top. That's 700 mils, which as I said, wasn't a realistic amount of water. And this is one of the, the places, or one of the ways these little stoves actually come into their own. Summer's coming, we're going to be in an environment where you can't necessarily light the fires on the ground, which is something you don't want to do in hot weather. Um, but you're still going to want to use your cook systems. And you, not everybody's got gas or can go to gas. So having this as a backup, as long as you made sure that the area around it was obviously safe um, and minimised your fire risks, great system okay you could use hexamine like I say um, and as you can see in a minute we'll use the the meth stove well that's a hexi out okay we'll put that there I'm going to turn that over now this way up and this is the way up I would choose to use it as a firebox nice thing is being thin stainless steel everything cools down quite quickly um, so we'll, we'll go over to meths we'll give that a try we'll put our meths burner in there Put that on the top and as I've demonstrated in the past if you're going to use a meth burner one of the ways of lighting it is to take a piece of wood a piece of stick grass whatever you want place that in the meth give it a little stir around get a coated mess on it light your stick place your stick into your meths and that will help assist warming the meths and get in the meths to ignite. As we can see there, my meths is burning. I'm going to turn that slightly, try and give it a bit of protection from the wind. And now we'll place that on top. And this stove, or this folding stove, it's quite sturdy. It's, it's quite stable. I've got no concerns about it falling over. And we'll give that a go. Uh, take a, a minute or two for the, the meth stove to come to bloom. Once it does, I think this is going to work quite well. And there we go, we're at bloom now. sorted out today so we'll scrape this down pair this down into some nice strips and I don't need to tell you all 
how good a bit of silver birch is for lighting the fire. We've been through that one a hundred times. Yes, it is. I'm going to put a link up or a, um, a message up letting you know the name of it on Amazon. Or if you want to go and have a look, as I said, it was the cheapest folding stove I could find on Amazon. It came in at about £6.49. pence. And if you're looking for a lightweight bit of kit to take out in the woods, or you're just starting, or you just want a backup. If you want something to throw in the car, in the glove box, with a couple of packs of hexamine, um, just as an emergency stove, absolutely brilliant, it'll work with that. If you wanna um, throw in a transier, as you've seen, works superbly with that. And as a little wood stove, yeah, this is working absolutely brilliantly. The cold water that I put in there is already starting to steam. So, you know, where can you go wrong? You can't really. Again, using it as a wood stove, you just got to be attentive to it. Um, these don't have a huge amount of space in there. So if you're going to put pieces of wood in like that, you'll probably get bits of wood dropping down the front. In a perfect world, you would be super attentive and keep it fueled and again as with all these things um, whether it be the gasification stove whether it's a Kelly kettle whether it's a folding stove they burn fast you're burning small pieces of wood with lots of oxygen flow um, the heat rising sucks cold air in the bottom basically works the same principle as a rocket stove heat's directed upwards so again they burn through your material quickly so make sure you've got plenty of it but yeah this is going in my kit okay simple as can't go wrong with that you're going to see more of this anyhow that's a little wood burning stove um, again like i say cheapest one on amazon there are plenty of others out there there are plenty of big brands okay all have got their redeeming features all have got their good points some have got their bad points but at the end of the day you can't lose at that price okay so if you're just starting out you want your first folding stove yeah get it ordered i'm hoping to show you the downside in a minute and something you've got to be very aware of with these especially when you're using this sort of fuel source where you create a lot of embers on that tray is there is a risk to setting fire to the ground below it not so much so using the hexamine and definitely not so much of a problem using the Trangia stove but yeah concept it's boiling we like that it's a nice bit of ambient light and we'll take your tin mug as well okay so that has been my review of the cheapest stove on Amazon at under seven pounds shall we say okay came within a week comes in a fantastic bag i've used it three ways there in a very very windy environment and in all three ways it's been successful out of windshield to this or windbreak and i'd probably half bleach those times um yeah my recommendation so 
I move it over, as you can see, the wood here has started to smoulder. And this is the downside of using wood on it, it's something to be aware of. You can set fire to the ground underneath it if it's peat or if it was, um, I don't know, wood, nettles, leaf mould, so on. Just be aware of that, you're going to need to lift this onto something. Put it on a metal tray, um, put a saucepan under it, or, yeah, actually, that's sat inside a saucepan, so the saucepan acts as a windbreak, probably brilliant. But yeah, you can set fire stuff underneath it. And as I said, if you use the, the hexy stove, or the hexamine with a bit of foil, or you use the meth stove, it, it mitigates this risk. Um, so this year in the fire season, I will probably be looking at using those two items, or, or gas and that, um, so that I, I, I reduce the risk of fire. One of the, the risks of fire when you're burning wood like that is obviously sparks and embers that can fly off of this and land elsewhere. And you're not gonna have that risk if you're using meths. And now, I should let that cool down. A success. Please like, please subscribe, please comment. Ring that notification bell for future videos. Let me know what you think. Show me yours. Let me know what you use. Let me know if there's anything you want to see me do. Trial, review for you guys. It's up there. Join us on a Sunday night, 20 hundred hours, Hampshire Outdoors and Survival. Again, come in, enjoy the chat, join in, make your, your comments known. Um, this week, we'll be giving away two prizes. Um, they're going out this week. So, guys, love those you do. Forgive those you don't. Peace and light be on you all. Have a fantastic week. This is Mickey. Mickey out.